have you guys get started, and that'll be the rest of the period. You can work on the practice and hopefully get done or close to done. All right. A 0.5 kilogram apple is 2.5 meters above the ground. What's its potential energy? So we're given a mass, 0.5. We're given a height, 2.5 meters. I want to know what the potential energy is. So, PE equals MGH. There's the equation. Mass is 0.5. It doesn't give me G, so I'll come back to that. H is 2.5. Now, it doesn't give me G, but y'all know what G is. Yep. Point five times nine point eight times two point five twelve point two five joules. Nailed it. Okay, B, how much work is required to lift it into the air? Well, work is force times distance. Let's do a different color here. Okay, so we're solving for the work. There's no new things given, so I don't need to write down any new given values. Well, this is work done against a force, so the force that I'm having to do is against gravity. When I lift things up, it's against gravity, so Fg equals Mg, same equation we've been using. Mass is 0.5, G is 9.8. Gives me 4.9. So again, this comes in here. And the distance is 2.5. And when you solve it, you get... Shocker. And these numbers are obviously the same, but I'm hoping you kind of anticipated that. Why? So the reason that A and B are the same is because PE comes from the work done. Right? The potential energy didn't come out of nowhere. It came from this. So the reason why this is this is because... One makes the next. Yeah, Max. Oh, do you need one? I got it from the ma magic practice sheet. Man. That one's pretty straightforward. You've done all those maths before. So that one's not too surprising, hopefully. All right, example two. We have a car that has a mass of 1,050 kilograms. It's going with a velocity of 15.5 meters per second. What's its kinetic energy? So we know the mass. We know the velocity. And we want to find out what its kinetic energy is. So the kinetic energy equation is 1 half mv squared. And again, you don't have to memorize any of these. You're given them all. So Ke equals 1 half times 1050 times 15.5 squared.
this number is pretty big, and that's okay. Energies will frequently be large. Um, 126,131.25. You can write it in scientific notation if you'd rather save some time. That's fine, too. But there you go. There's the an answer. Joules, it's an energy value. Okay, here's the part that's new. How much work would be required to slow it five, to five meters per second? So how much work is required if I'm going to slow it? So this is a final velocity. I want to make it so that it's going five meters per second at the end. So this is a little tricky because the equation we're used to for work is force times distance. But we do not know any force or distance. So this, that equation's out. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, can I do Fg equals mg? No, because ca the car's not going up into the air. The car's going forward. So you can't do Fg because that's only for up and down motion. We're not doing up and down. We're doing forward for the car. The other thing you might be saying is, well, if the final velocity is 5, then what's the initial velocity? Well, that's before work is done, and here it is. Before the work is done, it's 15.5. So, work equals delta Ke. And I went ahead and gave you a reminder in the equation. The way you do delta is final minus initial. So, we're really doing work equals final kinetic energy minus initial. And now we're kind of back to doing what we did with momentum. So the first thing we always did with momentum is find all the momentums. That's the first thing we're going to do here. Find all the kinetic energies. The kinetic energy at the beginning and the kinetic energy at the end. Well, the kinetic energy at the beginning is super easy. We just, we already found it, right? One half mass times the velocity at the beginning squared was this value, so I just wrote it down. The kinetic energy at the end we need to find, that's one half times the mass, which is 1050, times the velocity at the end, which it says it slows it to 5 meters per second. So that gives me a value of... Thirteen thousand one hundred and twenty five joules. So now I'm ready to solve this work equals final minus initial. So work equals the final value thirteen thousand one hundred and twenty five minus the initial value, which was one hundred and twenty six thousand one hundred and thirty one point two five. And I am going to write my final answer in scientific notation because um, if you round it, you're going to get a slightly different number, and I don't want that slight difference to freak you out. And rather, instead, I'd just rather scientific notation freak you out. Um, negative 1.13 times 10 to the fifth. If you're not writing it in scientific notation, the answer is negative 113,000, essentially. And yes, it should be negative because it's slowing the car down. Work done to slow an object down is in the opposite direction you're going. So it should be negative, and that'll slow you down.